hello, welcome. This is Rhonda Del Baccio, the crafty blind girl. And I'm here today to show you the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pens. This was a today's special on HSN in August for their craft day. I just got mine and of course I had to play a little bit. So, um, okay, I did actually use this. So I guess it's still an unboxing because I'm going to show you how it came in any case. Uh, and then I'll show you my first little practice sheet and give you a few tips. Maybe I'll do a separate demo where I'm doing it live. Anyway, the little box comes like so. And when you open it, inside there are the pens. I'm just going to move them for a minute. You have a roll of low-tack, it's essentially a washi type of thing, a placement tape. And uh, you have a little sheet about um, what's in the box and all of that kind of stuff. And then it comes with some 4x6 foil sheets. So you have silver gold and rose gold. So I'm going to get the box out of the way there. And the pens that this set came with four, it came with the the same starter set that you might see other places with the um, fine, medium, and bold thickness. And then there is also the calligraphy pen. So, and they come with, they come on a cord. Let me show you the end first. Get to the pens in a minute. So these will plug into a USB, either an outlet or if you have any kind of portable charger, that's mine. You can just plug it in there and then you're on the go. You can be anywhere in your living room, on the couch or whatever with it. Uh, or you can use a USB pop into a, an outlet or portable adapter thing or into the wall, whatever. So, whatever you have. So there's that. And what I found Okay, so there's the fine, and there's the medium. Well, I'm mostly blind. I put a piece of washi around this one, so when I'm grabbing for a pen, I have a hard time seeing the point. And I know, you could put your hand on it or whatever, but to me, this is just easier. That's the medium. I know that. It's the only one that has washi. So I don't know why they couldn't make these slightly different colors. I don't know why they couldn't label them like FM and B or something like that, or one, two, and three, or whatever. So that's, you know, I wasn't too thrilled with that. However, you know, an easy fix, I just used a piece of washi tape, and the handle does not get hot, so it's not going to be a problem there. So that's, here, let me do it this way. The fine and the medium. And there's the bold. And then your calligraphy, like a brush pen, it's a little more like working with a traditional calligraphy nib in certain ways. So there are what those look like. So what you do is you plug one of these into your charger or whatever. And uh, you can work with them from there. So let me show you my practice sheet. I'm going to set these in their box. Let me just at least pop you out of the way for a moment. So I would recommend that you just take a piece of paper and that you practice a little bit because it's a new tool and get the hang of it. So what you'll do is this is used, so that's why it looks all crinkly. So what you'll do is you'll lay down some of the tape. Um, if you run out of that, if you have frog tape, this was recommended to me by people who do a lot of die cutting, so I keep some of that on hand. You could probably use some washi tape if it's very low tack, because you don't really want things to rip your project. And so you'll put your sheet down, um, and then you'll work with the pen. And um, what I found is I I haven't worked that much with foil, and these are very, very thin. And I ended up grabbing 
didn't realize it till too late, I ended up grabbing two sheets of foil. So, oh well. And so what you'll do is come down with a very firm pressure. This is not heated up, so it's not going to do anything really. But you'll come down with a firm pressure. I, of course, decided to play with the calligraphy pen first because I do brush lettering. And so I'll show you my... my results okay so actually it came out not too bad this is my first effort now that was with the calligraphy pen um, the other thing to realize it that I just kind of got a feel for it does get darker or sets in over a time because I did this about five minutes ago and I was like wow this looks better than it did here adjust my lighting a little bit there we go so that was my very first hello. I felt like it was really pale at the time. Then I did that one. And then I used a firmer pressure. This was with the calligraphy pen. Then I made a nice firm line. And then I did, I was running out of room on my <laughs> foil, so I didn't have the whole word. But it's just a practice sheet anyway. So it comes out pretty good and like anything else, as you kind of get used to it, oh, then I did a sort of a star, um, just, you know, just to play with it. So that gives you a feel for it. And the nice thing with these also, and that did not do anything to my paper, so I wasn't sure how they're low-tech, you know, I mean, they say be careful because you could rip your project. Well, you know, yeah. So... On any area that's not used, like there's some up over here, you can actually save this foil and keep using it because you're doing freehand. So if you have anything that you're creating, either using a stencil or freehanding it, you can still play with the unused portions. So you don't have to throw the foil out just because you finished fiddling around with it. So um, overall, I am really excited. I am very happy looking forward to playing with this, being able to uh, put uh, my uh, name on things and be able to uh, to draw things and and it can be my own which is so much fun. Um, you can also use stencils with these and I might show that in another video. I haven't tried it yet with a stencil. So this was my very first. I just got it out a few minutes ago and played with it and wanted to show you so i can do a live demo next but i just thought not that many people have this yet so i wanted to show you what it's like so these are we are memory keepers foil quill pens uh, i will say and i just checked on amazon the set of three fine medium and bold is a little over fifty dollars on places like amazon uh, this came for 59 with the whole set and the foils uh, and the four pens instead of three and they had said that the calligraphy pen will sell separately. And it's almost as much as the whole starter set. So it was a, a really nice deal. I'm excited to play with it. And I'll continue showing you projects. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, if you have this down below, you know, let me know down below. Um, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, and tap the bell so you get all my vids right when they come out. And as always, cheers to your blissful life.